on testosterone, you want to keep testosterone itself the lowest possible, not to mention these add-ons. So that's where I see the sustainability. If guys come in the right doc, I'm cruising on 200 or they're on an anti-aging place, oh my Lord, and they're on 200 or more, they're full of fluid, they're bloated, their blood pressure, the heart, no one's even done anything. Everyone's just dumping blood all over the sinks and just giving blood everywhere they can and they're just, this is just craziness. She got me in the car, drove me there. 10 minutes, doctor said, oh, we gotta do surgery, you're having a heart attack. We gotta put a stent in, in your main artery. I'm like, what? I just got heartburn. <laughs> Y'all talking about a heart attack? Oh, Come boy. on, man. Look at me. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, and so they put the stint, and then, rest in peace, this is the same day Sean Roden died. Me and him oh, had a heart wow. attack the same day. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah, I didn't release mine to the next day because I didn't want to, you know, try to overshadow his death or whatever. What actually are steroids? First off, it's going to be what's called super physiologic testosterone. That's taking TRT, testosterone, usually injections, propanate, sipinate, enanthate, sustenon 250, and taking a bigger dose than you would for TRT. That's it. You can get an echocardiogram to look at your ejection fraction, your left ventricle size. Doctors, please work with them. If they ask for this, they're not felons. They're not looking for heroin or steroids. They want a calcium score. They're over 40. They want an echocardiogram. Maybe they're hypertensive. Please, please. Why would you not give it to them? But a lot of guys always ask, Doc, where are your ABCDs? Let's run them real quick. You see them right here. A, hemoglobin A1C, glycemic index. B is blood pressure control. C, cholesterol, coronary artery, calcium score. Get that screened. If you're 30, 30 to 40, you have any risks at all, family history, you're just not in great shape, your cholesterol is not even just perfect, maybe it's just maybe on the border, you're pre-diabetic or your, your blood pressure is not perfect, why wouldn't you check a $99 or less test that's super safe, not too much radiation, no IV contrast diets, not a CT angiogram, why wouldn't you check it to see if you have the lining of plaque in the artery? I check it every day for men, literally all week long, on the new guys that I take selectively. And I'm amazed that guys in their 30s and 40s, we don't just see zeros. I'm like, holy crap, God, dude, you, you, we, you have plaque in the artery, but good news is you're young. You could, you could derail that train. Okay, what are the doses, guys? Here's the common doses for me, myself, actually, that my doctor gives me. I asked for it, he said, okay. And that I give to my patients and I monitor them very closely down here. Half a mil every five days of sipinate. It's 200 milligrams per milliliter. If you're in Europe, you guys over there, it's sussanon. It's obviously 200 versus 250. You got to shorten that, tighten that up a little bit. 0.35 every five days. That's typically perfect for sussanon. Maybe every seven days. Again, when in doubt, guys, low dose so it can be sustainable. You'll thank me down the road.